Hey Scorpios, and we are back like the fat on your back. I said we back like the fat on your back. I said we back like the fat on your back. Back, we back like the fat on your back. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> Do you have fat on your back, Scorpios? Well, we back <laughs> like that. Okay, Scorpios. Tap in, Scorpio. This is another general love reading here. Somebody is ready to spend some quality time with you. Somebody wants the freedom to love you. Will you let them? I feel like somebody wants you, but some of you guys may not allow them. Maybe you're, maybe you're desiring quality time with your significant other at this time. Here's Scorpios. Uh, hey, Scorpios, how you doing? Once again, Scorpios, shout out to the new people who passing by here. Decisions and choices here. But somebody, y'all, somebody, y'all about to go out here. Y'all about to go out here. I got, you got date night. We tapped into the Queen Sugar Love Oracles here because once again, Scorpios, look at you. See, transformation here, Scorpios. Transformation brings other things, okay? I feel like someone here is thinking about the quality time that you guys shared together, Scorpios, okay? For some of y'all, it's a Leo. That line card keeps showing up. You hear me, Scorpio? Somebody is missing the quality time that you guys shared together. They're missing this quality time that you guys shared together. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't come for me. There's, the, there's a decision that needs to be made, or I feel like someone has made their decision, Scorpio. So you got gifts, you got offers coming in. See, for some of y'all, it's a twin flame or soulmate here. And once again, just like your previous reading, like I said, somebody is dreaming about you. Now, you guys could be dreaming about a situation, but I feel like either you're dreaming about them or they're dreaming about you. And like I feel like, I feel like... Someone wants more with you now because someone has been doing a lot of soul searching here. Someone has been doing a lot of soul searching here, Scorpios, which is bringing about a transformation in their life. It could represent Scorpio is doing a lot of soul searching. But like I feel like somebody here, something may be about to evolve into a higher level here. A wedding here for some of you guys, you're about to get married here or you're about to move towards a stable relationship here, Scorpios. What is this? See, because someone is tired of fighting this connection here, Scorpio. Someone can't handle it anymore. I feel like someone has fought, somebody's gave it their best try. Someone has, 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 someone has fought their, their best fight here when it comes to love. But what they're finding out is that it's just adding more frustration here. Someone is tired. I feel like someone is being tired of being alone, but I feel like this is someone here who's trying to come back to you because you do have reconciliation here. Someone here is tired. They've tried to fight this connection. I feel like here, Scorpios, but once again, someone is in this dream state about you. And some of you guys could say that it's illusions here, but I feel like somebody knows what they feel. And I feel like what they feel about you. Now, I feel like some of you guys now, Let's say this is somebody that you don't know. You're about to meet someone here who is lonely. They're desiring quality time with their partner. They're uh, desiring intimate quality time with their partner here. Um, this reconciliation could represent a past life soulmate connection that's come entering back into your life that you have not met in this lifetime, but in previous lifetimes here. Because whoever this energy is, they're tired. It's like someone is tired of trying to find love. Someone is tired, but I feel like they keep dreaming. It's like dreaming or fantasizing. Either someone is a hopeless romantic here. I feel like someone may be a hopeless romantic here, Scorpios, but I feel like you guys are about to start dating here. And for some of y'all, y'all about to date and one thing going to lead to another. You're going to end up having a lot of quality time on this date night. It's just going to be one of many date nights to come, Scorpios. Ooh. And for some of y'all, this date night is going to start off as dating somebody. And you're going to find yourself spending a lot of quality time with this person here. And y'all going to end up getting married, Scorpios. You're going to end up marrying this person here. Now, that's for those who can see it, because after all, this person has undergone a major transformation or maybe you have, Scorpio, because this is your energy 
But like I said, somebody's coming in with this reconciliation energy. Nah. <laughs> And then they're going to date you if this is somebody here who was not as invested with decisions and choices here. Maybe someone was confused here, but undoubtedly they're choosing you. And this is the same scenario that I continue to see. It's something about your energy, even though you may have had been up against other offers. It's something about your energy that's different from everybody else's Scorpio. And a person may have not showed you that in the past. This is why someone is desiring reconciling with you so that they can show you now. Because I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you, Scorpio. See, they go to the lover's card again. With that quality time and, and that other card. <laughs> Some of y'all got a Gemini y'all can't y'all can't get rid of here. Somebody know who they should be giving their energy to here, Scorpio. And I feel like it's this somebody here. Somebody is finally aware because they had decisions and choices in the past. Maybe they were given to multiple people and they couldn't make up their mind. But I feel like this is somewhere here who was choosing to come back or try to come back to Scorpios to work things out here. Somebody here who, with that lion energy, resisted this connection, but they can no longer resist this connection anymore. Could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, Gemini. I see a magician card again. I see Sagittarius, the Temperance. Will of Fortune, King of Swords. See, it's a lot of stuff going on in here. All right, Spirit. Let's see for Scorpios here, Spirit. Who is coming towards Scorpio? But I, like I said, I feel like this is the, the, the reconciliation energy. This is someone here who, for some of you guys, is someone from this lifetime past. For other Scorpios, it's a past life connection here who you've already shared the soulmate contract with, and they're just entering into your life, okay? So let's see. Remember, Scorpio, these are generals. They're not going to fit for every single Scorpio. It's not going to be the same. It's just whatever comes up is what's supposed to come out, okay? So some of you got, ooh, is that you, baby, baby, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. I ain't seen you show up in the Queen of Wands in a while, Scorpio. So some of y'all feeling yourself. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling yourself. Or they feeling you one because they the ones thinking about you. <laughs> And some of y'all playing hard to get you thinking about them, too. See, they say, look, here, you know, I, I've decided that maybe we can work on this situation. They say, you say you want a relationship. I think we can work on that. Somebody said that they can work on this with you. They can work on that and you, Scorpio. They said that they can multitask. You got you a multitasker. For some of y'all, it's a Leo, Sagittarius, an Aries, a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your major is the lovers. Once again, choices and decisions. What a card. And this is the overall energy. Well, I'm not going to say the overall energy, but I feel like with this lovers card always showing up here in the Six of Pentacles, I feel like this is the theme. This is a theme here that most relationships face is choices and decisions, decisions and choices here in their partners here. And I feel like somebody is deciding who they would rather spend their quality time, spend all of their time with here. See, it's like it ain't it, it ain't it ain't um, the amount of time. Somebody just feels like any of your time is amazing because it says quality. You don't want the quantity, don't? Because some people, you can spend hours and hours and days and years and months with them and you still not feel that connect. But sometimes you can be around the right energy and it takes just a little while and just a small, look, look a week month maybe and you're finding yourself connected to this person and you could it could be a love at first sight energy but it's not because it's a physical drawn there's a spiritual attraction there's a magnetic uh, chemistry between you and the people that are coming to you they're drawn to you because your love is drawing them in and once again you may have choices that you may need to make my darling in this queen of wands energy so let's see all right i see the full energy mm. Just saw that King of Swords. Eight of Cups. I feel like what, what is represented with this Lover's card, Ace of Swords, 
And the six of pentacles is maybe you're trying to figure out who do you give your attention to. But I also feel like someone is having a major breakthrough in their choices, in their decisions and choices here and who they're going to give their time to. Because somebody could have been, uh, you know, cutting their time in half, you know, sharing attention, sharing love. You see multiple people out here, but it's almost like somebody's trying to figure out who to give their undivided attention to. And it's almost like they're saying, because you got the six of pentacles, you go from the six to the eight of pentacles. They want to work this out. Who? It could be a fire sign want to work things out, or they're looking at you as this very, very confident, mysterious, beautiful, attractive uh, uh, queen of wands energy. Very passionate, very attractive to you. And they see themselves working on something for the long haul with you, Scorpio, with this Ten of Cups. You could have a lot of regret. Someone is regretting the ending of this relationship. Someone is, someone is grieving the loss of you, Scorpio. They are grieving the loss of Scorpios. See, could be another Scorpio. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Is that magician card I want to come out? Six of Wands. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Mm. <sighs> the Empress. Libra energy. Mm. So I feel like this is what this person see. This person. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Now, either this person, because you got this empress right here, is seeing you as marriage material and attractive and all those things, or this is somebody else. Scorpio, I hope not. I don't feel like dealing with all these extra people. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Because you got that Six of Pentacles up there. As well as that Lover's card. Mm, that Queen of... She came out anyway. Maybe that's you. That for that Knight of Wands. See? All right, Spirit. What else for Scorpio? That. Nine of Wands here. King of Swords here. So for some of you guys, this person here was blocking a commitment with you. But I feel like now they're manifesting you because they're thinking about you. And for some of y'all, y'all manifesting this person back. Somebody probably look at you like you everything to them, Scorpio. You're very beautiful. You're very confident. You're very uh, logical. Uh, you're very uh, grounded. You're making a, a good marriage material because you got the Ten of Cups. All right, Spirit, one more card for Scorpios. Mm. Death. <laughs> and the freaking Tower card. God dang here, Scorpio. What's going on here? I feel like what spirit is telling some of you Scorpios is that your life is about to undergo a major transformation here. Because we don't see the queen of cups. We do see this queen of wands and this queen of pentacles. And I feel like somebody won't some, I feel like your love life is about to change Scorpios. I just feel something different coming in here. So let's see. Use these. Some of you guys may have ended things with a child's mother that they were married to. Because they coming in to work things out with old Queen of Wands, Scorpio. Then this Queen of Wands could be this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles could be this Empress, you. And this Empress may not be you. It could be somebody here who's putting an end to a relationship, a marriage that they had children in. Because we know this Empress is a pregnant energy. Oof. Somebody may have had a Tassie that go to King of Pentacles. Somebody may have had... Somebody's it's going undergoing a major tower moment in their life here. And I feel like it's because they was in this Knight of Wands energy. 
somebody's secrets is coming out about you, Scorpio. I feel like, I feel like about you, Scorpio, something is coming out. Maybe that's why you got that Ace of Swords. It's almost like somebody saying, God dang it, who you been giving to? I want the truth here. Some, who else you giving to? Maybe Spirit's telling you the truth is about to come out here about something. Or maybe someone has found out the truth about somebody giving to another situation here, Scorpios. <sighs> yep. Welcome to Scorpio's world. And this ain't just your world, Scorpio. So now you got Libra, Scorpio, and Gemini. Mm. Just seeing that Ten of Pentacles popped out. All right, Spirit, let's see. Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you are. Uh, they go to Ten of Cups again. What's after the Ten of Cups? Chariot. <laughs> I really hope you are being in this magician card like never before in your life. Because the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. No one has an added advantage over you, even though you got those secret hidden traps that, that are laid for you to entrap you. It still cannot affect you. Uh, things that come our way, they're supposed to. It's to, it's to uh, build strength and courage within you. It's not for you to buckle down. But now is the time to manifest the life that you desire. I don't care what you have to do to get it spiritually. I feel like you should do it. This is your life. This is your happiness. Don't you want to be happy? And it doesn't always take another person to validate that happiness. If this is you, all of these energies are you. It looks like you're in a very, very good position here. Seems like the person coming towards you got it harder than you. Because it's almost like you're everything someone could want, but maybe they, they're not man or woman enough to get you. And once again, for some of you Scorpios, you got somebody ending something. To go start something new somewhere else, okay? And that's just what it is. This is how life is. It seems like people are waking up. People are choosing because it's all about choices and decisions, remember? So let's see. Let's start off with this lover's card. All right, Spirit, why is this lover's card here? You know, the lover's card continues to show up for Scorpios. So I know some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. You're dealing with the Libra. You're dealing with another Scorpio. Probably Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Check it out, Scorpio. The only cups you got in here is the Ten of Cups. Ain't that something? You got the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Then you got the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But all the rest of them is the Lover's card, the Empress, and the Death card. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Lover's card for Scorpio? Why is this here? Well, how does this pertain to Scorpio? The Lover's. Mm. Five of Cups here. Somebody's regretting something here. There they go with that. Someone is living in the past here. Someone is regretting the loss. Someone is grieving. Like, I feel like some of you guys, somebody is grieving the loss of you. They're, they're still, they're still being affected by it. But for some of you guys, somebody's hands are tied. They're grieving over one situation, but they're tied into another situation here. See, two of one, someone needing to choose. And it's almost like somebody's regretting not being with you or choosing you for some of you guys. And then it could also represent that this lover that you was in a revolt that you were involved with has brought you nothing but heartache and pain in this five of cups energy. And for some of you guys, you're mourning the loss of your person. You're still miss missing them. All right, spirit, the lovers for Scorpios. Spirit, why is the lovers here for Scorpios? Clarify the lovers for Scorpios. Mm. See, Ten of Swords. Someone's dealing with a lot of regret. I feel like if you walked away from somebody here, 
someone is regretting how things happen in your relationship. I feel like they didn't want it to end like this. Now you could be regretting and uh, feeling backstabbed and feeling betrayed too about another lover here. All right, spirit, the lovers for Scorpios. See, cause somebody to want to move towards karma waters, move away from the tension here. Because see, the ten of swords is it. That there was an ending here. Somebody feels like it's somebody felt like. Now, for some of you Scorpios, you you could be the one that's getting the heck out of Dodge or got the heck out of see, it's you. Now, either that's that or some see, look. Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Now, either you were getting the heck out the way here, see? For some of you guys here, this person may have left you alone or this person made you feel like they didn't really want you. But I feel like this because this person, what was they had? Oh, see, somebody was juggling. Somebody couldn't make up their mind. So they were running off or sneaking off on this connection. It may have made you feel left out here. That the moon is a will of fortune here, but something is changing here. Now, for some of you Scorpios, you moved the heck away from this particular person here, this lover. And you have a lot of regret because of how things ended and you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with the heartache and the pain. You don't want to deal with all of the mental abuse that comes with being betrayed and being done wrong. For some of you guys, you need to focus on yourself to heal, Scorpios. Heal from what has been done in the past here because you're not going to look at this person that's trying to reconcile if you've already been involved. You're not going to want them. But check it out. If you have a reconciliation from a past life soulmate relationship, you're not going to want them either because you're not in a, the place to receive it. So I feel like for some of you Scorpio spirits telling you gone and uh, moved to a karma place in your life, maybe alone so that you can heal yourself, your Scorpios, from past things so that when something new come your way, you'll be ready for it. So now you have the Ace of Swords, some swords in here. Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here for Scorpios? Why is this here? Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the Four of Pentacles. Now, the truth of the matter is somebody may be stressing out because they were holding back or, or maybe somebody was still holding on to a past relationship, Scorpios. I feel like you're going to find out this or somebody may want to come in and be honest with you. Somebody was stressing out because they may have lost something here and they may have uh, seemed detached from you. It's almost like somebody probably couldn't give you what you deserved in a relationship or they were still hung up on somebody else. All right, Spirit, the Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles, but now they are assessing and aware of things here. See, some of you guys, this person here was is finally realizing the truth here, Scorpio, about themselves. See, they go to Nine of Pentacles in the Lovers card. Someone is realizing that they were, they may have not even noticed that they were waiting on somebody who probably didn't want to want to be with them. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Lovers card, and these cards is in the reverse. The lover's card and the seven of pentacles. Because I feel like somebody did not want to be single. They wanted to be with this person here. But I feel like this person was holding on to this connection that they were waiting for. Somebody may have been... somebody. Is, so, so this is what I'm seeing. For some of you Scorpios, for whoever this is for, somebody may have not been physically involved with somebody. But, but because they were still attached to that person... It was as if they were with this person. I feel like they may have ended something here, but your person was still holding on, waiting. And as a result, they was not giving you all of their attention. They didn't, they was in a Knight of Wands energy here. Who? let's see. I'm going to pull something else. I don't like them. All right, Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Spirit, what, why is the Ace of Swords here? King of Pentacles here. See? Could be somebody here who was holding on to a queen of pentacles or holding on to some. Oh, oh, uh, OK. They were holding back from you. Because they are recognizing it now. Judgment. See. 
So this is saying somebody was holding back from you because they were holding on to another situation, Scorpios, hoping, uh, awaiting for something to get better in that relationship. And I feel like it probably didn't because you got the death card and the freaking tower card. I feel like they were, it's almost like somebody was, somebody came to you when they were going through something, some, something in their relationship and they, they didn't, they didn't settle down. They didn't build nothing with you because they were waiting on this other person that I feel like it, it ain't came together. You got the, cause see, it's almost like you got the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, and the Death card. What is the ending? Is they ending this to the, with the Queen of Pentacles here, or is there a major transformation going on? So let's see Six of Wands here. Spirit, why is the Six of Wands? Excuse me, Six of Pentacles. The Merchant being generous here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got the King of Pentacles. I feel like what, what this person is about to do, Scorpio, is come be honest with you. I feel like somebody's going to come clean, okay? Because I feel like somebody was codependent on something else that maybe never happened. So they crumbed you. And they crumbed the wrong one is what I feel like. Spirit, what's up with the Six of Pentacles for Scorpios? See, justice here. Libra energy. Now, I feel like this person may be trying to, um, God, they go that freaking in. Okay, so this person here, this person is aware that they did wrong, Scorpio. This is why, okay, so for some of you guys, this person is regretting, this person is grieving the loss of you. For some of y'all, y'all left this person. This person is actually grieving because now they're having to judge themselves and look at things from a different perspective. They're looking at things in, from your shoes, from someone else's view, viewpoint, not their own selfish pride. And with the Six of Pentacles and this Justice card, someone is very aware that they probably were shortchanging you in this Five of Swords energy because somebody wanted to run everything. Tickle your emperor, Scorpios. But somebody here sees the light now. That's why you got the Ace of Swords here. Somebody is seeing themselves and, th and themselves was not in a good light. And I feel like, like, I feel like somebody probably had something that's going on. It wasn't going their way. You probably was the right one for them, Scorpio, but maybe at the wrong time. It's like you're the right person, but the wrong time. Because I feel like somebody had to finally acknowledge this and make up their mind or you just would have been loving somebody in vain. So it could have been to the point where his Scorpio, you may have walked away from your emotions from this connection here because you feel like it wasn't being reciprocated. And if they was given, you feel like they weren't given nearly as much as you were given here, Scorpios. But now this person sees themselves and they don't like what they see. So, yeah, they're grieving the loss of this relationship even more now, Scorpios. All right. Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. Three of Cups here. So I feel like somebody here. Now, for some of you, Scorpios, I feel like this person is focused on you, Scorpios. I feel like this person has an a, attachment to you. I feel like this person's always had an attachment to you, but because of their issues, somebody had external or uh, internal conflict about, once again, opening up their heart space, the King of Cups and sharing their world with you. But I feel like that's exactly what they're working on now because they're going to Eight of Pentacles again here, Scorpio. See, this is someone here who was their own worst enemy here. Could be a Capricorn here, see? See, it's like this person had inner conflict because they were refusing to see that they had gotten, that they didn't fell in love with somebody. See, they, they didn't want to hear this because for some of y'all, this person was... For some of y'all, this person did not want to feel love. They didn't want to, it's almost like somebody just did not want to fall in love with you because they were waiting for somebody else that probably never came, y'all. What well, I feel like they still holding on to something else. As the King of Pentacles, because like I say, you got this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you may be this Empress in this Queen of Wands energy. Yeah, you may be. And this person could have been married for some of y'all or in some type of long term relationship. But you got the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like this person didn't want to open up emotionally and share their world with you. So it's like this person, their, their own selves became an enemy here. See, they go to decisions and choices here. But this person didn't even want to acknowledge it. This person was in denial here. 
But now all they are doing is obsessing over you because they missed that quality time that you brought with them. This person is going through a lot of things. This person is not happy. Somebody's not happy in their life, Scorpios, because I feel like they've been, it's like somebody just avoided, avoided the truth for so long till it started impacting their life. But with this Ace of Swords, now somebody's really going to feel bad because now they have to see how they really behave. There's somebody here who was crumbing you, who was only out for a good time in the Knight of Wands energy. But even though you were worth the best of them, here this somebody here is somebody here who uh, still did not do honor you right because they thought was holding out hope, I feel like, for somebody else. But now this person is being judged and they're having this major awakening about how significant you really impacted their life here. So you got this eight of pentacles, the three of cups. I feel like this is somebody here who wants to work on reconnecting with you. Let's see, spirit. Eight of pentacles. Now, for some of you Scorpios, some of you guys are going to, some of y'all may meet, you may start dating somebody on your job with this eight of pentacles and three of cups, okay? You may start dating somebody. You may start getting your honey where you get your money. I'm just saying, you got the money, honey, honey, money. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, money, honey. Some of y'all finna start messing around with somebody on your job, child. And some of y'all probably already are. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Eight of Pentacles? Three of Cups, mm. Ten of Pentacles here. It's almost like somebody saying, I want to work on a third party. <laughs> you being the third party. <laughs> Oh, after they after they overcoming all of this competition, all of this conflict. It's almost like somebody saying that they want to work things out with a third party. <laughs> OK, see. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, you know how they look at that queen of wands. They look at that queen of wands. That's the side chick. But some of y'all anything but that you just feeling yourself and you making no apologies about it. You're different here. You're not showing up in the Queen of Cups energy because you've been hurt. <laughs> so some of y'all finally getting your strength back. You're getting your womanness, your intimate, your feminine energy back in this Empress energy. And you know your worth and you're going on living your best life here. OK. All right, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles for Scorpios. You said, no, I ain't finna show no love. See, seven of wands. I feel like this person here is is just fed up and there is like somebody here is fighting their way towards their happiness here because someone knows the truth. Spirit has enlightened this person here because they've always been seeking answers and trying to make sense of what they feel with this King of Swords energy. One more card for this Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. See, some, like I said, somebody's standing there grounded. It's almost like somebody saying, yeah, I know what I'm doing may not be right in your eyes, but I'm getting it anyway. <laughs> is that what somebody's saying is, yeah, I, I know y'all gonna have stuff to say and everybody feel like I should do this and do that. For some of y'all, it's a marriage. This is why somebody here may have uh, been uh, tripping. But like I said, I feel like a lot of people going to have stuff to say and this person going to have to set, set some folks in place here because they're not backing down. It's like somebody knows the truth now. You, you can't change how they feel. Somebody know that they're in love with you and they know that whatever. And, and I feel like for some of y'all, they're not even with this person. They're just holding on to this person. Somebody may be telling this person, look, <laughs> you still holding somebody telling this person. You still holding on to somebody who ain't here, but you got this person right here. While others, that's probably this person's relative, is telling this person, well, guy, you finna move on, but guy, I thought you was in love with so-and-so. And they like, yeah, but so-and-so ain't even here. They was like, yeah, but that ain't right. That's your wife. That's your husband. You ain't supposed to leave your husband. You supposed to work things out, but maybe they're not here. Because I feel like somebody's holding on to something. I don't feel like anything is wrong with holding on to something if you're already together. But why? Why are they? Why is this the truth? It's almost like somebody may be telling you that they were holding back because they were still holding on to their relationship, hoping that it worked. That's what I feel like. All right. Now you got that queen of wands, because like I say, all they do is watch you all day. <laughs> you know, they watch you because they want that quality time. A wink, wink. OK, see, they can't keep their eyes off of you here, Scorpio. See? Four of Wands. For some of y'all here, Scorpios, 
this person is stressed out because once again, somebody's stressed out because they're already in this relationship. But every time they lay their head down at night, they're thinking about you and this person. It's almost like this person is, is going through it because it's almost like they're they're with somebody that they don't that they're not happy with. But I feel like nine of swords, the the high, uh, the uh, higher fence. And the ace of swords, like they land in their bed every night next to this person, can't sleep because their mind is telling them something. It's almost like somebody is being compelled to make a move because you got the seven of wands here. All right, spirit. What's up with this queen of wands? Somebody's looking at you like they want to build something with you because you got the eight of pentacles. Like I say, somebody said they're going to work on they're going to work on this third party relationship and building it to something long haul. What I feel like. And I feel like it's like this Scorpio because this is somebody here who I feel like you've already been with. That's why you have reconciliation. So they know about you. It ain't like you just some random chick that they boning or spending time with. Now, this is somebody here who I feel like y'all made a connection because you got the emperor and the empress here. They're showing they showed up as the king of cups. And the, I feel like somebody was in the king of swords energy towards you. But really, they're in love with you, but they couldn't show it because of what they're facing with already here. Somebody could have been facing their community talking crap about them, especially if it's a marriage. Because like I say, you got the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So let's see. But I feel like you the side chick or the side dude, Scorpio, don't come from. I'm just telling you. But like I say, they're watching you. For some of y'all, they're watching you to see if you're still single or if you're in a relationship here. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Queen of Wands for Scorpios? See? <laughs> the chariot, that's where they're trying to come to you. The chariot trying to move forward with you. See? Six of Wands, Six of Cups. See? They drawn to you, Scorpio. They, that's why they always thinking about you. They're thinking about all this good quality time. That's why you got that eight of pentacles and the three of cups. They like, look, I'm, I miss all of the happy time that I shared with Scorpio. It's just something unbelievable about the way we vibe. Somebody loves your energy. And they see a long term. This, this is somebody here who want to build something long term. See, they coming. They go their reconciliation card again. So now you have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Some of y'all going from the Four of Wands, being with this person to the Ten of Cups, I feel like. I'm just saying, I don't know. Let's see, because this is weird. All right, Spirit, what's up with the Ten of Cups? Why is the Ten of Cups here, Spirit? Ten of Cups. Mm. Death. Was there an ending to a relationship or is this a transformation in your relationship? Spirit, why is it? could be another Scorpio. You got the death card showing up twice. See, there's endings and new beginnings and transformations here. All right, Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here with death card for Scorpios? Why is this Ten of Cups here, Spirit, for Scorpios? Hmm. Because someone here just could not get along. Somebody stopped getting along in a relationship, Scorpio, is what I feel like. Like I'm thinking that you got a marriage here, a relationship that now there's no more peace in, in the relationship. This is why I feel like somebody is ending a marriage or some type of ten of cups. Because you got the ten of cups, the death card, the five of wands. So, see, they say it was to it's toxic. They say that whatever relationship or marriage they were in began to be toxic, Scorpios. They say all they started doing was fussing and fighting and arguments because there's way too many people that's always putting their two cents in about their relationship. And someone is realizing that they're going to have to put an end to it or it's coming to an end. Because I feel like this was something that they were stuck in because you got the, like I feel like you got the Ace of Swords. Four, four, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles. This is someone here who taking stock. They, they looking at everything as the king of pentacles, a provider here, a marriage, a married person here. 
But even then, this, this is why you got the the um the Queen of Wands with the Four of Wands, because the Four of Wands represents harmony. Somebody feels like their household, their relationship, the harmony has left the building. And now all it is is a bunch of fussing and fighting and a whole bunch of people in their business. And it's become too toxic and too negative. So somebody has to put an end to it. And I feel like it's coming to an end. This is why they're coming to you. And I feel like this four of wands is going to grow into the ten of cups because they come into you with the ten of pentacles. See the queen of wands. They're watching you. They're, they're, they're sizing you up and they could be talking about it. Like I said, for some of you Scorpios, you got a lot of people talking about you. The sad person, the third party. You got a lot of people that's talking about you and this person here. See? Everybody could be asking this person here, have they ended things? Somebody could, it, it, the talk of the relationship could be about Scorpios. Somebody, somebody may be obsessed with finding out if this person's still involved with you, Scorpios. And for others, this is like a lot of people is in this person's business here. It's a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of unsolicited advice. So this is why this person is wanting to come towards this queen of wands because it's harmony here. This represents a harmonious relationships, happy time, festive times, celebration times. This is what they're moving forward to. To the side chick, <laughs> the queen of wands. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, now we got the empress. The Queen of Pentacles and the Death card. Mm. Let's start out with this Empress here. I feel like this Empress is you. Now, for some of you guys, you're the Empress and they have a Empress, which has their children. Because you got the Empress on here twice. All right, Spirit, what's up with this Empress? For some of y'all, you got heavy Libra. You got, you got, you got Justice. Uh, high, I mean, Justice. Um, the Empress, the Empress twice. You got Gemini energy, you got Aries energy, you have Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces here. It's like it's full of stuff going on in here. You also got that Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Somebody's moving away. I feel like you moved away. Now, it could also represent them. It's almost like that they're moving away from this choice because you remember you got decisions and choices and they got a lot of regrets of this. See, because maybe they caused this in their marriage because they was over here after Scorpio. So it's almost like, well, it's over now anyway. I might as well go on and move on towards something that makes me happy. Get away from this. Let's see. Now you got this Empress. Libra energy. Spirit, clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Why is this other Empress here for Scorpios? Clarify, please. Why is the Empress here? Libra energy. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Now it could be a Libra coming in here to offer their cup of love to you or this is somebody coming in to this Empress which is you to offer you their cup of love. Because I feel like, see, it's you, baby. Oh, snap. See? See? <laughs> But you ain't showing up as the queen of cups. It's just, it's just letting you know what they're in search of. They want the love that you gave. But please believe they are watching you because some of y'all ain't, y'all don't walk away from your emotions. So this is how they see you now. This passionate, beautiful, independent, charismatic, uh, confident energy that they feel like is very, very harmonious, uh, very happy. It's like you got a very high vibe that is attracting this person to you and they come in. It's like you're drawing this person in, Scorpios. See, the Empress, Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. That's who they coming for. They want love, baby. That somebody's relationship or marriage or whatever it was was so much was so full of static and chaos and and whoever they were married to, they let their family come all in their relationship. It's almost like everybody was questioning this King of Pentacles, but the same King of Pentacles, which is a boss, King of Pentacles is the Emperor. They was given to a lot of people. Everybody want to know how they give and who they giving to, even though they're giving to them too. 
But I feel like this person crumbed you because they was too busy doing things for other people and they are aware that it was a manipulation here because they had something going on that was negative and toxic, which is that devil energy, right? That, that, that I feel like it's coming to an end. All right, Spirit, one more card for the Empress for Scorpio Wise. This here could represent that, see, they broke your heart. See, this is what I feel like. This is what some of y'all doing. Y'all healing from this. See, they trying to come back in to you, Scorpios. See, they trying to come back. They already know it's a third party here. You're the third party, though, Scorpio. In this reading, you are. But some of y'all not showing up in the Queen of Cups towards them. You're the. They see you. Remember, the Page of Swords is looking at the Queen of Wands here. They're looking at you. You're not in the Queen of Cups here, and they already know it's because of this. Shoot, they know they got in your feelings and they broke your heart here. So that's why I come when they see you, you ain't you ain't rolling over and playing unalive. You sitting up here like, okay, it's like that. Deuces. You out here living your life and you ain't making no apologies. And they see this. And like I say, they already know how you get down. This person misses your energy. Please believe. You know when people got problems at home, everybody want to get away. Everybody want to get away from their problems here. And I feel like you were a getaway from for somebody and they end up catching feelings and they didn't treat you right. OK. All right. Now you got the freaking queen of pentacles towards Virgo and Capricorn. Spirit, what's up with this queen of pentacles for Scorpio? Clarify the queen of pentacles. Why is this queen of pentacles here? Queen of pentacles. Mm. Because this queen of pentacles is feeling left out here. See there, there go, the, there go that queen of pentacles again. See there? I feel like the reason why she feeling like that because something coming to an end, this king of pentacles ain't going to be given over there like they used to. Whatever they used to do, I feel like they're not going to be doing it as much now. So like I said, this person was not, <laughs> check it out, Scorpios. And I know this ain't going to make it no better, but this is what I see. Whoever the soulmate of yours is that you in love with, that I feel like in love with you too. They didn't cheat on you. They cheated on this queen of pentacles. See, queen of pentacles, five of pentacles, seven of swords, and the two of pentacles here. See, and I feel like it changed. I feel like this person didn't used to do this with this queen of pentacles. Something changed though. Something changed about their relationship here to cause this person here to step out on their relationship. See, they left. They left this queen of pentacles it's like they didn't care. I feel like this queen of pentacles. Now, it, pentacles represents money, physical things that you do for people. This queen of pentacles is not a queen of pentacles on her own. She's the queen of pentacles because the king of pentacles made her the queen of pentacles. But like I said, they, he been because of the condition of their marriage or their relationship, it becomes so toxic. Your person started stepping out. Now, for some of y'all, this queen of one, this queen of pentacles is watching you. See, this was somebody may be finding out that said that, that they were being juggled because their person or that somebody need to make up their mind choices and decisions because somebody's already stepping out on this relationship. They're stepping out coming to you. Give me another card, Spirit, for this Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, why is this Queen of Pentacles? Here, Spirit, what's up this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios? Two of Pentacles, see? Somebody got the truth. As I told you, somebody, somebody realizing some type of truth. Now, this is, this is your person realizing that maybe this Queen of Pentacles is realizing that her relationship is over here. Maybe she's realizing why her person was stepping out on her. She started slacking. She started not getting. See, when this person, you and you and you. I hate this kind of read because it's too personal, but this is what I see. OK. You and whoever this person was with was like night and day Scorpios. OK. You are very, very high vibe. You're very loving and nurturing. You're very fun, beautiful, attractive, all those things that I feel like somebody did not find in their spouse. They could have been together for children for financial reasons here. 
But like I say, this person got hooked on your energy, Scorpios. See, they, they, it's like they, they stopped caring about anything about this Queen of Pentacles, and I'm sure she started noticing it. See, this person juggling this Queen of Pentacles may have found out the truth about why her spouse been coming up missing in MIA. Let's see. Got the last card is death. Got the death card coming up in here twice. All right, Spirit, what's up with this death card? Could be a Scorpio. Like I say, this Queen of Pentacles could be the one that's watching you. I'm trying to find out. Because she got the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Maybe, maybe investigating and may have ran across a photo. May have saw y'all lounging around at the crib. May have saw y'all in the car driving. And she may be finding out that her person is trying to move on in another relationship too, Scorpios. Mm. It's, it's heavy over here. It's, whatever this is, it's heavy, Scorpios. It's intense. All right, now you have... Death. Spirit, why is death here for Scorpios? All right, Spirit, clarify death. Why is death showing up for Scorpio Spirit? Death. <laughs> because they finna become single. <laughs> See, I told you they ending it. They finna become single because they're coming. They've been coming single from this ending of this Ten of Cups here. This is what they're, see? Because here it is again. Spirit showing it again. Ten of Cups, death. See? Death, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is what they're ending this relationship with whoever they had something with. See? There it is again. Because there's just too much going on in this relationship that was toxic. See? See, mm -mm. see, and this person is going to be successful in this person. You got the six of one. See, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> because see, this person is saying they said, God, this is why you got the seven of ones with the magician card. Because this king of pentacles, this emperor is determined. It's like, can't nobody stop them? Because I feel like they the breadwinner anyway. And if they dealing in, in a very toxic marriage or whatever it is, they, yeah, they're leaving it. You got the death card, nine of pentacles, ten of cups, six of wands, six of cups, nine of cups. They're coming for the cups, baby. They're coming for the cups because they wasn't with the cups where they were at, they were with a lot of confusion, a lot of fussing, a lot of uh, other folks in their business. And they, only thing, seems like your person feels like the only thing that they served in this purpose was to provide. Everybody had their hands stuck out and everybody always had, it's almost like, I don't care how much your person did for this person, they still was never satisfied. It was never, it was never love and peace in that relationship. See, it was no harmony. It was, it was, Ten of Cups should be your happily ever after, but this was anything but here. And this Ten of Cups, which is what they're in, see, because they're putting an end to it with this death card here. It's coming to an end. Spirit just confirmed it. Because whatever this was, was not based on a solid foundation. This is why you got the, the Tower card. It wasn't a, found, a solid foundation. It wasn't. Because if it was, then this person shouldn't have been stepping out on this queen of pentacles to come in to Scorpio. But that's what they was doing. Ten of cups. The death. The end and all of this is gone. See, because it ain't no harmony. There was no happiness there. To confirmation. Spirit is confirming this to you. Death. Nine of pentacles. They ending the marriage or the relationship coming in single. Feel like they're in, they're coming in single because of this. Now, for some of y'all, this person coming to you single, building this with you. Okay, see, six of wands, six of cups, and the nine of cups. For some of you guys, they're well, like I feel like this person's coming to you after they have ended something somewhere else, and they're coming into you single because you're the one that makes them happy. And once again, 
They cannot get you off of their mind because this is a strong soulmate connection. And for whoever this is for, you were like night and day with the person that they was actually with. And somebody know the truth because you got the ace of swords. Somebody's knowing that they're not with the right person because their emotions are being drawn to you. And it's like somebody start judging their relationship, their marriage, everything. And it always leads them back to you, Scorpios. And it's just on point blank, period. For somebody, they are grieving the loss of this relationship, Scorpios. And But like I say, Scorpio, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of putting this in there. I just don't feel like it's, it's just, I don't feel like it's, 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 it's impactful now to say they leaving that third party, but you the third party. <laughs> I don't want to say they finna leave their wife or they, I don't want to say that either. Because it's like, y'all don't want to hear that, but this is what's going on. I right, Look, because like I said, let me show you this again. And then we're going to wrap it up. Ace of Swords, this is victory. This is a breakthrough. This is truth. This is clarity here. You, you, you can't go and walk around here blinded anymore. That somebody either was, is holding back or holding on. Because I feel like somebody was waiting on things to improve is what I feel like. And I feel like this is what this King of Pentacles is saying. But I feel like what they're realizing is, is that they were waiting in vain because they, they, were, they, they were not doing you right. It's almost like somebody was waiting before they honored you and treated you like they should have, Scorpio, because they may have been still been holding on to the outcome of a situation with the Seven of Pentacles. So they couldn't come give you everything. Now, here you go. Queen, King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, see? It's like somebody was trying to hope that their spouse get their ish together is what I feel like, but they never did, see? So now here this person, they started stepping out on that Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, juggling here. But then the truth came out. And then maybe somebody's saying, look, I know I ain't supposed to be with this queen of pentacles. I already know the truth. So I'm finna go on over here, slide on over here to Scorpio. But I feel like it's out in the open though, Scorpio. This is why you got all these death cards showing up because this person is ending it and they're coming back to you to establish something. Now, what you do with that is on you. Like I say, your person then had a tower moment in their life. And not only that, what brought in the tower moment was your departure. You leaving this person here, Scorpio, has has this person grieving the end. And this person's grieving the loss of you. And that's just what it is. They're grieving the loss of you. And then that caused a domino effect in their life. See, it caused a tower moment. Caused delays in their relationship. This person not, not wanting to be intimate at home no more. Because all they do is fuss and fight. So what this person was doing was just hiding their feelings. And waiting on the waiting on a better day so that they can move away from this. Check it out, Scorpio, because they in love. There it is again, the King of Cups. See? See? The Emperor. And once again, this Emperor ain't backing down. This time they fighting for this. Here it is again. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You the third party. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, but they finna come in here and put something on your mind now, god dang it. They don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> they say, I don't want to hear nothing, man. Live your life, Craig, because I'm living my life, Craig. <laughs> See? Because they always thinking about you in that Six of Cups energy. See? That's what I say. That's what it is. Very powerful, Scorpio. Don't come for me, but that's what I see. But this is your reading, honey. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll talk to you, Scorpio, on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.